Hi, I'm Lisa Nichols, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a reflux in order to heat a mixture. There are lots of ways to heat something, and in this video I'm going to use a sand bath heated atop a hot plate. To control the boiling, I'm going to use a stir bar, and you put that into the liquid. You can attach that round bottom flask to a clamp attached to a ring stand, and position that above the heat source. We next need a condenser, and we have to connect some hoses to it. It's easiest to connect the hoses if we first wet the ends. That makes it a lot easier to twist onto the condenser. And then position this condenser vertically atop the round bottom flask. And if it's a very tall condenser, you probably want to use a second clamp to secure the whole thing. If you're using a very short condenser, like from a micro kit, you might not need to use a second clamp. Then the bottom hose is going to connect to the faucet because we want water to go up against gravity. And then the top hose is going to drain into the sink. So this is what it looks like. It's a flask with a condenser attached to it. Um, on the top, you don't want to attach anything. Don't put a stopper there, just leave it open to the atmosphere. Once you're ready to start heating, then turn on the faucet and get water flowing through the hoses and through the condenser. Then turn on the stirring mechanism if, you, if you're doing that. And then loosen the clamps to lower the whole system into the sand bath. And once you've got the liquid submerged in the sand, then secure the clamps to make sure everything's tight. And I would give one more check, make sure that that condenser is securely in there. So let's skip some time. And this is what it would look like when it has started refluxing. So the liquid is boiling and hitting that cool surface and then condensing and dripping back down into the original flask. So it is actually quite difficult in the video to see that anything is happening at all. Um, certain solvents don't make real obvious visible droplets and it's something that in person, if you look really closely with your eyes, you can see some movement in the condenser, but they're not always like incredibly obvious that it is actively refluxing. Here we have a much better, much more obvious example. We have um, dichlormethane that is refluxing, and you can see those obvious droplets that are happening in the condenser and falling back into the original flask. And here's another example of a bromine solution in dichlormethane that is refluxing. And this time the condensation in the condenser looks different, but you can see from the color that the reflux ring is about halfway up the condenser. You do wanna watch that. If it gets higher than halfway, you would want to raise the flask out of the heat source and probably drop the heat as well. When you're done with the reflux, then lift the flask out of the sand bath and don't remove the condenser yet because everything's still hot. And if you want to move on more quickly, then you could take a beaker of water and surround the, the flask with this water to quickly cool it. And once it's cooled, then you can turn off the water and remove the condenser.